Please stand. Number 62. Ready the way of the Lord. Ready the way of the Lord. A voice cries out in the wilderness. Ready the way of the Every valley be filled. Let every valley be filled. Let every mountain be humbled. Let every valley be filled. Here is your God coming from your vindication. Behold the living power of God. Desert and wastelands will bloom. Desert and wastelands will bloom. Glory and splendor will fill the land. Desert and wastelands will bloom. Those who are blind will then see. Those who are blind will then see. Those who are lame will then leap for joy. Those who are mute will then see. and peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Gathered here, we come together to celebrate the second Sunday of, of Advent. We come to give thanks to the Lord who comes among us. And in preparation, as always, we call to mind our sins so as to ask for the Lord's pardon and his peace and better celebrate these holy mysteries. Lord Jesus, John the Baptist announced your coming. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you arrived to fill 
to fulfill the promises of all. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring us to the joys of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who have set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of the glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God. Bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor you will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you. But God will bring them back to you, borne aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to the level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command, for God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. done. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase evermore and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of the region of Etrea and Traconitidas, and Lassinius was tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. 
John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding road shall be made straight and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Jesus, Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. A story is told about a man who visited his therapist and the session did not at all go well. And he left the office and walked into the waiting room. And as he did so, he asked those in the waiting room, what happens if this is good, as good as it gets? And they didn't know how to respond. They were shocked. And a man, he didn't offer any help. He just left, went home to decide if this whole business that he was undertaking would be something that was worth continuing or if he should walk away. And sometimes when the people of God consider their spiritual life and how close they are to God, from time to time they wonder, is this as good as it gets? What else should I be doing? And no response comes immediately. And so they too have to make the decision. Are we going to withdraw a bit, gather our energies, try again? Or maybe we're going to just re withdraw in frustration? Or, well, they decide to take another look at what's going on around them. Take another look and see what the scriptures say, how the sacraments offer and what the liturgical year focuses upon. Now, when they look at the gospel, these people who are taking the second look, they will find today that they are the ones, they are the ones needing the hard ways made smooth, the valleys filled in, and the mountains and hills reduced. They are the ones that are in kind of an exile, and the way back is rough. The way back is daunting, and they're going to need some help to make it. They need help to make the path smooth. And these same people, people will hear that it is the Lord who does these things, who fills in the valleys, makes low the mountains, makes the rough ways smooth. And they will realize, these same people, that, well, maybe now is a good time for me to get out of my own way and for me to do the work of listening, do the work of trusting, do the work of the season. And these same people, as they continue to reflect on this gift of mountains made low and valleys filled, it will come to them. And they will realize that maybe, maybe it is also a time to hear what the gospel says anew, to listen to what the sacraments bring us anew. And in the spirit of doing the work to get out of my own way, the trust that is in God increases. The understanding of what he is doing in our lives grows. And when these people are able to do that, then they are preparing. Then they live in hope. Then they live the season of Advent. They have gone beyond the surface. They have experienced 
what it is to be away from the Lord and await his coming. And they find that they can move closer by God's very help, by God's very grace. And even as they struggle to get out of their own way. And when the Lord comes, these are the people that will be more happy, happier. These are the people that will be more satisfied. These are the people who have done the work. And they welcome the Lord with open hearts, with open minds, with open souls. And with everything that they have. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. The Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, he worship and glorify. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the Holy, Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. He will be my work for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn toward the Lord. We seek his help as we prepare for his coming. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Alfred Jenkins, for the repose of the soul of Marilyn Rising by the Rising family, and Patty Roush's birthday, and for the repose of the soul of Taylor Kempton. For these intentions, let us continue to pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all the leaders of the church, may the light of Christ continue to illuminate their every step. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern, may the Lord grant them strength, courage, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who feel marginalized, may the compassion and consolation of God bring them healing and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a change in laws, policies, and attitudes that discriminate against and marginalize unborn children, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and those who defend it, may our men and women who serve in the military be kept safe from all harm, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our commission, Stephen ministers, caregivers in our parish community, may the light of the Holy Spirit guide them to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, the caregiver. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the faithful departed. Including Faustino Trujillo, for whom Our Lady of Grace candle burns this week. May God welcome them home to eternal life let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you continue to call us to be your people. Help us to take joy in following you. We make our prayer through Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Please join in singing number 56, Christ Circle Round Us. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal life that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, 
we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we in which now we dare to hold and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing to him of your glory as without end we acclaim Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abao, Plenis Angeli Etera, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, we vain it in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have saved. we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, 
recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. George, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Oscar our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people have gained, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. And your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us turn to one another and offer a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into your mind, but only say the word. Please join in singing number 310, Table of Plenty. Gladness to 
to flood the depths of my soul Come to the feast of heaven and earth Come to the table of plenty God will provide for all that we need Here at the table of plenty My fields will flower in fullness Your homes will flourish in peace will send my rain on the soil come to the feast of heaven and earth come to the table of plenty God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty Verse 1. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share a cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth come to the table of plenty god will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty Our second collection goes to the building fund here. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your support.
let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have about three or four announcements. Please be seated just for a moment. The giving tree is set up in the uh, vestibule, but like we did last year, there's no uh, lists or little ornaments that contain lists of things to buy and then bring to the office. Instead, what we're doing is asking those who wish to contribute to the giving tree to place their contribution in an envelope and put giving tree on it and then put it in one of the Sunday collections. Then we'll go and buy gift cards. The parents will receive the gift cards parents can have a bit more of a participation as they go out and buy for their children. So that's what we're doing again this year for the Giving Tree. Uh, the other announcement is that the Religious Education Program is accepting donation of candy uh, chocolates for the Fasada celebration they'll be having on the December 18th and donations may just be dropped off at the parish office. Um, this is a note uh, for those who contributed to the mariachis. We were planning on having mariachis uh, for our Lady of Guadalupe celebration, but the group disbanded. And it's kind of late to get another group. So we're just kind of not gonna have mariachis evidently. So the funds that we raised for this year's mariachis will go for next year's mariachis. Or the year after, depending on the situation. Thank you, and have a good week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing number 581, Soon and Very Soon. <clears throat> Soon. Thank you.